we're just talking to Bree and Kaylee Lastly, who survived a brutal home invasion. So how can you help protect yourself from an attack? Here with life-saving information is national self-defense expert Stephen Cardian. Hey, Steve, nice to see you. Thank you, Meredith. One of the most important tips you have to fight off an attacker is to always fight at the first location. What do you mean by that? Why is that so important? It, it's critically that you don't be taken from point A to point B or the primary location to the secondary location. It doesn't matter if it's the next room or an alleyway or a park. Uh, and, and even more critically, if you're put into a car and taking to that location and it's a stranger, it's more than a 95% chance yeah. you're not coming back. Okay. You say when fighting at the first location, take control of the takedown. You show you show you what you show me what. Yeah, you mean? sure. We we don't. We are going to prevent him. Yeah, as may I borrow you, please, uh, from bringing her to that secondary okay. location. So as I grab her, she's going to take an athletic wide stance, which is going to make it difficult for me to pull. She's going to step right into here, sit straight down, foot into my hip, and she's going to push pull. I am temporarily frozen here. I can't move. She's going to kick to all my vulnerable points and I can't reach any of her. This is the best position for her to be in, in this position. Perfect. All right, next thing you're gonna show us is how to get out of a choke hold. Choke is unforgiving. Yes. Uh, we have seconds, not minutes. So what I'm gonna first do is have Yaz, she's gonna tuck her chin and raise her shoulder, just like she was ticklish when she was a kid. That's gonna protect the soft tissue. So here we go. She's gonna do an I dream of genie move. Arms come over. That traps me in. What she's gonna do is step in a little bit, sit her hips to the ground. Good, as she goes back two on one to the hand. Same position we just did. All her strong muscles and body parts to Got my it. vulnerable back to where we points. were. What if you're pinned down? Then what do you do? If she's pinned down, uh, head there, please, Yaz. If she's pinned down, this is on. Uh, uh, it's really a horrible position. And I right, think Bree was, was very close yes. to this as well. Uh, we're going to go right to a choke, worst case scenario. She's going to tuck her chin and raise her shoulders just like she did. She's going to do the I dream of genie again. She looks at me like a table. There's four legs, take away two, it falls. So she traps my leg, raises her hips straight on up, and pushes off, elbow strike, elbow strike, gets up, but and goes. With her tiny frame, she can do that to you? That doesn't seem like it would make any sense. Excuse me? With that tiny frame, I can't imagine how she's able to push you off like she's that. She's not relying on strength, power, speed. She's relying on leverage technique and timing. The right move with the right leverage technique and timing will not fail you. So body weight she doesn't make a difference at all? It, with, with those components, using that element, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. The little person can get it done. Okay, you also say that it's important to have a safe room in your house. Uh, very critical to have a safe room, an area that's designated for you to go to in a time of crisis. Uh, we want to have a code first. So code red, everybody runs directly to that, to that safe room. <laughs> in that safe room, you'll want a burner phone. It's something that you have 30 minutes on that you keep plugged in that you can dial no matter what. Regular house phone, uh, you're going to want a flashlight. And we're going to want to have a security bar here so that we can shore up, so that we can shore up the, uh, the door. This would go underneath the doorknob. We would kick it in, and it reinforces even the flimsiest door. So it could be even a closet that you're going to. A safe room could be anything. Closet, bathroom, bedroom, doesn't make a difference. Right. Put a barrier between you and him. You walk out alive. Thank you, Steve, so much. Such a pleasure. Yasmin, thank you so much. You showed him. Um, and our thanks also to Bree and to Kaylee as well for sharing their story. For more ways to protect yourself from an attack, go to the